Shut up. Hello. Oh, it's not get me tits out. Good morning, everyone. Got my little uh, fruit salad here. Literally a fruit salad. I said fruit platter, but sure. God, literally got like apple lodged in my throat. Got my latte. Nice. Good morning. As you can see, we are in a hotel. We're going to do a little casual hotel get ready with me. The day that I'm filming this is actually bank holiday weekend. It's the King's coronation. So it would have been yesterday that I'm filming this. Let me just set my timer, okay? Because I live everything by timers and I can't be late. Okay. Um, do I really care about the coronation? No. But it's a exciting day in the sense of I understand sort of like why it hap why it's happening. I feel like this may be not like one of the last coronations because I feel like that might be low key wishful thinking. But I don't know. Just from what I've like seen and read and stuff, I just don't think the royal family are as popular with the younger generation anymore, like my generation. Um, so I just thought I would film. A little get ready with me because my family are having a viewing. They're getting my grandpa up from his home where he's like on his own. So that's kind of what I'm excited about. My grandpa's coming up to visit. I've brought Stevie down with me. No, he's not in this hotel with me. Okay. <laughs> Basically, my auntie is also over from Australia. And my sister's come down from London. It's a whole big family shebang. Just means that there's not room for me at the inn because my auntie's staying there. My sister's got her bed and I I like my own space. I don't mind. And also this hotel is like more in town. I want to go out with my friends in town. So I just always say, I'll just stay here. I'm a regular here. Um, but I've brought Stevie with me because I was emailing with my grandpa like not long ago, sending him pictures, like updates on my life and stuff because I don't get to see him too, too often. And I was like sending him pictures of Stevie. And he said, he was like, I could really do with some like Stevie serotonin in my life. And then that literally made me want to cry, number one. Um, and then I just thought with this weekend coming up, I was like, you know what? This might be the only time that my grandpa gets to see Stevie. So like, I'm going to bring Stevie. So Stevie's at home. He's having a little staycation with my mum and dad. I'm literally only in this place to like sleep and get ready. Like I'm literally going to my family's house, like the whole duration of the time that I'm here for bubbles and Victoria's sponge cake and to, yeah, you know, watch this coronation unfold and have, what's mum said's on the menu? Coronation chicken and vegetable Thai green curry for my sister because she's a vegetarian. So I thought, let me just film a little casual, wholesome, get ready with me. But like, I'm in a good mood. I'm in the mood for just like, I don't know. It's an excuse to have like bubbles and cake and just get all the family together so that's what we're gonna do not a super like glam get ready with me i'm just gonna be with family but this is gonna give me an excuse as well to just do like my favorite everyday sort of like dewy makeup that i've been loving i know i literally have just sort of done one but i've sort of even even from doing that i've like combined the two loves of like my full glam and like dewy glam and come up with this which i feel like is still very much every day for me a little bit more on the glam side but yeah, so I've just moisturized with the Charlotte Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. And I am going back to my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. There's absolutely no reason for this. I just am. Even though I'm self-employed as such, these bank holidays really throw me off for a week. Like, can you believe it? Because of the coronation, this month, May, this month of May, there's only like two working Mondays. Or is it only like one working Monday? It was like something like that. And I was like, oh, like that must just throw, if it throws me off for the week, it must throw so many people just like off for the week. I mean, it's great, don't get me wrong. But then obviously when things get back to like normal on a Tuesday, something just, yeah, throws me off. Yeah, just like a prep to my skin. Also, I haven't even acknowledged the fact that I've literally got like two roller horns. And I'm also stressed that it's raining today. Oh, I've got to walk to, oh God, everything's gonna get ruined. My eyelids are like sticking together. Okay, that's how you know that that primer is good. Okay, for foundation, 
so random, or is it? I don't know. Um, I've been loving mixing the e.l.f. Halo Glow with this from Sephora. It's their best skin ever glow long wear foundation. This is in the shade 28.5N. I've just been loving, like, putting this on my skin like this. A couple of swabs. That's such a good, like, shade match. This is the shade 4. And then getting, like, a pump of this. like so and just kind of use my finger to mix them together and like spread it out on my face kind of like that viral meredith foundation technique but just kind of like spread it out i need a wipe i don't know why i've sat down i always have a wipe near me it's not wet my beauty blender i should have just gone and done that um but yeah just Spread it all out, like, on my face. And then, with a brush to start with, let's just push that in. I'm doing my skin first today because I'm really, like, gonna be pretty basic on the eyes, I think. Like, just taking bronzer and, like, cream contour through the eyes. So, we can start with the skin first. I love this brush as well. But just look, I'm about to go in with a sponge and I am going to go and wet it. But look at that combination for just like everyday glowy skin. I'm obsessed. Just going to go in with my damp sponge to make sure that's all pressed in. God, my skin is just looking radiant. And this sounds like, this might be really controversial and it might be such a like, dry, normal skin, girly problem in the sense of, I love the kind of look of my skin looking kind of not like sweaty, but just like so glowy that I look like I've been like running a, just running around and it just looked really like fresh and natural. Maybe sweaty is the wrong word. And anyone listening with oily skin is probably being like, bitch, shut the fuck up. You don't want your face looking sweaty. I think I just mean really glowy, to be completely honest. But speaking of glowy vibes, I am going to use Charlotte Tilbury today, the contour wand. <laughs> like, literally never use this. But I'm trying to do this thing where in the next few, like, months, I'm, like, really trying to, like, go through my makeup, just really have the core products that I love and, like, actually use. Otherwise, I'm getting rid of them. So I'm, like, revisiting products to see do I actually love them I'm gonna pop like this also in the crease this is what I mean about doing the skin first I love putting my cream bronzer in the crease I think it gives such a good base right let's get blending oh fuck I forgot how all right I forgot how pigmented this is that's fine the thing is with this maybe I need a different shade but I find sometimes just is a little bit like red I don't know if that's just me, or maybe that's just how I remember it. And maybe that's what makes it look the most natural, because for most people, when you go in the sun and, like, actually, like, tan naturally, it you do go, like, a brownie red. <laughs> Probably because there's elements of burn under there. Oh, no, see, I do, like, it does blend. I think I have the dark one. Medium dark. I'm gonna have to like turn to the side here because I need to like hold my little frazzly hair bits out of the way. Oh my God, get these hairs out of my face. See, it is a nice color and then let me just, yeah, so basically with the bronzer and the crease, where's my brush? Just, kind of, yeah, cream eyeshadow or like all over the lid or whatever, blow it out so it like connects up to your face bronzer because when we go in with highlight, highlighter, when we go in with concealer, I suppose that is kind of like to highlight under the eyes, you can really like sharpen and clean it up but I also make sure to take it like all the way down the bridge. I am gonna go back in with some like brown 
eyeshadows and stuff but this just gives like a good base and i can like contour my nose as well i feel like i definitely want to film a few like holiday get ready get ready with me's while i'm on holiday i've got a couple of holidays in the next few weeks again they've not said it so i don't want to say it i haven't mentioned it before but we're going to ibiza and it'll be such a fun group mads is coming so i feel like maybe I might film like a i just love getting ready in like a robe and like your hair up like there is just something about it and i feel like everyone knows everybody knows that it's a vibe yeah again if you are in the market for a concealer that's like glowy it's got coverage but it's not cakey under the eyes i must be i feel like i'm so slow to the kosas game because even the foundation i tried it the other day i realized that i had the foundation as well so nice it's like a medium coverage actually like medium full coverage and yeah just the finish is stunning right done that concealer on yeah this is also in the shade 4.5 n i have realized like i feel like my whole life I told myself, oh my god, like I want, and I know it can, if you can, in terms of it not like making like a mega difference, it's not the end of the world if you don't wear a foundation that's like not the correct like undertone, because I know a lot of people like like a yellow, a yellow looking base to their foundation, but their actual skin tone is not, that's literally what I used to do like my whole life, but I'm just starting to realise I'm, I'm just 100% my natural skin tone is like neutral. It's not too pink, it's not too yellow. And therefore I just find myself gravitating towards the shades that like when I'm matching myself, they always like have an N on the end. But I do need, I do need to like blend, where's the brush? Blend it out slightly, but you're in your like, clean girl dewy skin era this combination is stunning and we've got some new products today as well which i'm so excited about like i've never used them but when i saw them i was like i need them because i feel like it's gonna give me kind of what i mix existing products to create on my skin i feel like this is it in a bottle like that's what i'm like hoping and anticipating for anyway what part of the coronation are we on? Oh my god, they're marching. They're marching. They're marching? Okay, it's only 9.30. Can everyone calm down? But uh, let me know if you guys did anything fun. Technically, it's today that I'm filming this, but it will be like yesterday by the time that this goes up. I say that thing about the younger generation not really being super interested in, you know, the royal family anymore and the monarchy and stuff but then i do have friends that are like grew up with like super close to their grandparents and really just respect the whole concept of it all and just are really into it some people are just like really into the royal family i feel like my mum kind of is but me and my sister just like are oh, like really just don't care we just see it for what it is sadly Do you know what it is? It's not necessarily about like the royal family that I'm like, I don't care for. It's the money that's been spent. I'm like, are we or are we not meant to be in like a cost of living crisis? Like I could just think of like 10 million other things that this money, I, I would have rather my tax paying money got spent on. But then my mum did remind me, she was like, Rachel, totally agree with you, but they will make a lot of that money back because it's the coronation and that's the whole point. Like all of the merch and like just stuff like that like they will make a lot of it back so i don't know i wish we could vote on things like that i think they would be shocked of, as to how many people just like really don't care for it just zoomed you in a little bit i feel like maybe that's a bit better and i've put my fan on so i'm sorry if you can hear that in the background but i'm feeling like the fan will help just keep like the hair out my face let's keep it away anyway let's do a cream blush okay instead of Mixing my Made by Mitchell vibes, I am gonna do my Kylie Dewy Skin. If her makeup industry brand goes down the drain and she says you have to order your last things now, 
I'm buying like 10 of these. I'm sorry, say what you want about her brand. This blush, it's the like, it's the like cheek and lip tint, I think it is. Cheek and lip glow balm in pink me up. Literally before powder, after powder, this just gives the most beautiful pink dewy cheek. I love the shade. I love the formula. I've not used it on the lips. But it gives that like balm finish, which you know I said about wanting to look sweaty. If I go like over the powder, over powder with it, it looks so good. Just going back in with my bronzer brush and just my concealer sponge. Focus it on the apples. Stunning. Right, let's powder. My two powders of choice are Laura Mercier, the little mini pink translucent powder under my eyes. And this, just gonna dust it all around my face because I still wanna be a dewy queen. So BRBY powder because this just goes everywhere. And I also just might do my brows quick because brows are so personal. And let me just get them done out of the way. You could have guessed that I was gonna use the Pink Honey Brow Pen Pencil and the Kosas Air Brow in Auburn. Love these. And I'm gonna do more of like pencil focus on the outside and like really try and get the pigment from this to feather the front of my brow. So I'll show you what that looks like afterwards, but I just need to focus. Do my brows look more natural? I don't know. Um, you guys know. Once I've powdered my face, the routine is very straightforward. Say it out loud now, if you know what it is. Well, first of all, it's Benefit Hula. Always, forever, ride or die. Just lightly though. Because I still want to be a natural girly today. Just... Where we put the contour, essentially just go back in with it a little bit. Although a new product that I picked up from Selfridges, which I was like... <gasps> Let me try this, number one, because the packaging is so freaking cute. Too Faced. Come through. It is their Chocolate Soleil Natural Bronzer in Golden Cocoa. Because it's a shimmery, like, satin. It's a satin finish bronzer. You know me and my shimmery bronzer, which I will be using. I just thought, let's try a different formula. And also, I used to love these bronzers. They smell like chocolate. That is such a nice colour. I'm going to put that in the crease. Oh, okay, just... I'm going to put that in the crease. That is beautiful. Um, but I'm still going to use Shimmery Bronzer. I mix Gold Deposit and Global Glow. From that, just dip my brush in and go crazy. I feel like the Global Glow just, like, neutralises the Gold Deposit a little bit. I'm going to tap like a lot of this off and just lightly dust. See, do you know what it is about shimmery bronzer that I feel like is what I'm trying to explain? It literally looks like Botox. Like you put this on your skin and it looks like what Botox it does to your skin. I'm obsessed. And I miss, I miss those like MAC products. I used to use them on counter all the time. Um, Again, a blush that I've been using a lot in videos because this is just like such a beautiful blush that I've not seen a lot of people talking about. It's MAC Bubbles Please, which is literally going to be the mood of today. It's their mineralized blush. I feel like it's not picking up on camera as much as it is in person, but it's literally gorge. Danny. And I might use a little, this is going to be just too much glow. I'm going to use a little bit because this product is gorgeous, especially as well. If you've got any holidays coming up, you need these. It's the Doll Beauty Pretty Fly Glow Getter Blush in Peached on the Beach. Just as a little like, mm. Mm. Like so, and that's kind of giving me like 
a bit of a glow, but I do really want to use these new products. They're the new Made by Mitchell Blush Glows. Now, let me just assess the formula of these, like, on my hand. Like, I feel like I just kind of need to go straight on the cheek with them. And I think, I'm just trying to think, like, how it's going to be best to apply. Sorry, I didn't even show you. Like, glowy, I don't know if you can see that. Like, balmy formula, which is, like, what I really like my cheeks to look like. But I don't. I haven't like tried them on the skin yet to know the best way to apply them. Let me just try right now. Oh no. Oh actually. Oh my god, they actually blend like on top of powder. Okay. But to be fair, I feel like his original blushes do as well. But like, let me just... Oh! <gasps> okay. Okay. And it's giving me that, like, glass, like, glass skin vibe. Okay, but you guys know, after I've done, like, powders and everything, I wasn't sure whether to do this, then that, or that, then this, but I've done that, then this, and it's worked. But I'm going in with my We Cherie spray. Just to make that look and feel gorgeous on my skin, so let's make this dry quick. Let me zoom you in for the next part. Is that close enough? I feel like, yeah, because I'll probably be like shrunk down a little bit. But this is the skin after the spray and I've just like gone in with a little powder down at my T-zone. Um, yeah, I genuinely feel like I'm just, I'm gonna use the bronzer as my eyeshadow because I kind of want like a shimmery looking eye. I'm really just in my glowy, natural, but not natural looking era, you know? So let me just, Go in with that. I love the shade of it. I'm gonna take it under my eyes as well. And also using your bronzer as your eyeshadow, you may not even realize it, but it just like ties everything together on the face. Like so. And I think I'm gonna just try and like lighter the inner, my inner lids just with face powder. Again, this is Charlotte Tilbury face powder like in the shade one not like carving out the crease with concealer you could totally do that if you wanted a more um carved and like precise look i'm just gonna like really just pack on as much as you want determining on how bright you want it i don't want it like too too bright but i want to make it known that i've done something literally just like that and then i'm gonna do just a smoky wing, I think. Really quick, brown eyeshadow. Throw the brush across the room. <laughs> Vibe, dark brown from whatever you've got. All I really use is this. I'm using the shade Gaia, G-A-I-A. -A. I think that's it. And just kind of following that line we've made, you know? And then once you do a wing, I just kind of take like a little, a little smudgy brush and just diffuse. I want it to be like, yeah, smoky. I have to take this look from like daytime to nighttime. So I think when I take it to nighttime, I'm gonna add some brown liner like in my waterline and stuff. But yeah, it's kind of a big wing for the day, but YOLO. Big wings for Charles, it's the coronation. It's what he would have wanted. <laughs> right, and then for the inner corner, I'm just gonna use the Rare Beauty Highlighter. 
Where's my brush? There we go. I dropped both of these on the floor and they broke. Which is really great, but they're so like delicate. I knew like as soon as it fell on the floor, I was like, that's broken. 100 percent I'm just gonna take the shade and lighten to brighten up my inner inner corner and just down Ooh. like my nose like that and I'm just gonna curl my lashes and yes I am gonna be wearing a lash I'm wearing the tatty latte tat tatty latte tatty latte am I on crack it's this coffee artiste half lash from tatty lashes that's what I'm trying to say anyway I'm gonna whack these on right eyes finished time for lips I'm gonna use the refi lip liner in fawn I think this is again another product that I oh another product that I'm just so late to because this is gorgeous like this color love this and then my anastasia liquid lipstick in naked obsessed with those two together i'm just gonna like feather in the pencil a little bit like that's just what i love my nude nudes to look like and then we're gonna go with gloss this is the refi gloss as well why am i so late to this don't ask me I love the applicator of this because it's like that like under eye cream applicator vibe which means it just glides on doesn't disrupt anything and it just looks gorgeous right that is the finished look I'm going to go in with some Urban Decay All Nighter my little travel size one because this needs to last me all day and I will just sort my hair out and get dressed and I'll end on a fragrance because I feel like I never do that and I always get questions about fragrance so yeah I'll be back to show you my outfit for the coronation what's it what do you what does one wear to the coronation even if it's just at home I'm not actually going but yeah I'll show you the finished look my hair has puffed but it's fine we'll just pop it behind my ears we're going blue linen shirt it had to be blue didn't it with it being the coronation i'm just gonna put some gold hoops in this shirt is from pretty little thing i feel like colored linen shirts are just a spring summer staple um i've got some like white trousers on and these are from bershka absolutely love the quality of these i'm gonna do like a bit of a a tuck moment hopefully my sunglasses will like save the day in terms of like my hair even though it's pissing with rain and then people are either going to love or hate these but i've got my just like black zara bag and these like slip on they're like sling back flats slip-ons from zara i just like it wasn't a trainer occasion i'm just going to be like toddling around the my, my parents house like they're giving me slipper vibes but like formal slippers, like they're so comfortable and I actually really love a just like pointed shoe at the moment. And then in terms of fragrance, I've only kind of got like sexy kind of vibe fragrances, but I absolutely love the Versace Crystal Noir perfume. So let's just be dress, chic, smell like a freak. Like it's a really nice perfume. Anyway, I've got to run now. The fact that it's raining is stressing me the fuck out. I'm going to like throw my leather jacket like over my head but these are the vibes my watch is from like limit i don't know if it works but it goes with the vibe anyway hope you enjoyed this video i'm off to have some cake and bubbles and enjoy a weekend with my family so i hope whatever you guys have done this bank holiday for the best time anyway gotta go bye